You know, I'm trying to go to bat for this game, and it's making it kind of difficult. Shadow! Yeah! Shadow! Gee, I wonder why I like this level! You've got to stop him and save him! Yay! Of course, Tails would be on the Air Force One level, right? Of course, Tails would be on the... Hey, let's go after that plane level, creatures. right? Shadow, be careful. Stop calling them that. Yeah, look at him ride with his little tail. Oh, I love his tail so much. Anyway. <laughs> Try to get up here. Uh, yeah, on each level you can collect five oh, rings yeah, to open these secret no doors. To my knowledge, they're not really worth it. There's never really anything invaluable in there, the you know? Jump, you can run God forward. damn it, why did that even happen? You've only got about two seconds before you fall, though, so be extra careful. Ugh. I hope there weren't any... Shadow, go. Destroy that crap. So yeah, in this level, the evil version is to assassinate the president by blowing up Air Force One. Uh... <laughs> I guess I am kind of happy that games aren't antsy about 9-11 anymore. Cool. Do it, Shadow! Do it! Yay! I'll do anything for you, Tails! <laughs> I like how, like, sh like, Shadow and Tails just have no relationship whatsoever. There is no basis for this at all with any of the lack of interactions they've had throughout the series up until this point. That giant is much stronger compared to the normal aliens. When you think about it, like, Tails is kind of a satellite character. He doesn't really have a relationship with anyone in the series besides Sonic. Like, he's his own independent character. He has his own deal. But... I can't really think of any other characters he has an actual interaction with throughout the series. Which is pretty weird when you think about it. Again, it's actually in missions like this, in bug hunt missions. Uh, this is actually not a bug hunt mission, because I'm pretty sure there are more aliens in this level than 35. Also, I didn't talk about this with the gameplay, but while grinding on rails, this is the best rail grinding that the series has had up until this point. I'm afraid of nightfall tonight. Tails! You take your sunsets for granted. <laughs> anyway. Uh, has the best rail grinding of any of the 3D games up until this point. Because the way it works is you're grinding on a rail and you just press left and right. If you're pressing... If you're on grinding on a rail and you want to switch to the rail that's next to you, just press left and you will hop over to the... Ooh. And you will jump over to the rail that is to the left or right of you. In the older... Fuck. Leap of Faith. In the older games, in, in Adventure, in Adventure 2, you had to, like, tilt the stick towards the other rail and press the jump button and just kind of hope that the game made the jump for you. 
and you kind of had no control. Like the game, if the game felt like just sending you careening to your horrific death in, in the in the darkness of the abyss, there was kind of nothing you can do about it. And there was the gun is lined up along the left hand path. That probably means that way is dangerous. We should take the right hand path and take out the swarms of black creatures. Stop calling them that. It's weird that this gun turret is here and you kill that one enemy alien with it. Really, the gun turrets are here to make it so that you can, so that you can take out and do damage to the president's ship if you want to. Because those stationary encampments are really great for that. Because it's just sitting there and you can really like rail it with a ton of damage. And again, while you are maxed out like this. You are completely invincible and have unlimited ammo. Although I did kind of prefer in Heroes how you would hold that down. That is so cool! I've never seen a vulcanized ceramic used for this sort of thing before. Tails, stop! You're too cute. <laughs> how in Song Heroes you would hold down the grind button and that would speed you up? But Heroes had the worst rail system where, like, it had an entire level based around the level grinding. And you would just fall to your death constantly because of how bad rail grinding was in those games. This game has the by far the best rail grinding. There we go. Yeah, but no one. Shit. Shit. Watch your footing, okay? Yeah, God forbid you swoop down and just, you know, save me. Woo! Why did that happen? There we go. With your fucking flying abilities, I guess only Sonic rides the fucking Tails Express, I guess. Christ. Again, I don't think Shadow and Tails have ever exchanged two fucking words to each other before this game. Only one left. Yeah, like I said, if we had left that one there, there would have been more aliens for us to run into. I'm not yeah. gonna let them get away with any more of their plans. He's a little. <laughs> Yeah, my preference is definitely for the hero missions. <laughs> Perfect. Both because, like, those are kind of, on average, they're a bit more fun. And also, you know, I'm just a nice guy like that. <laughs> Other mission I like, is it this one? I don't think it's that one. I think it might be this one. Don't yes! Remember? Okay, good. We once raced each other here. Okay, so remember how I said, like, uh, that cutscene where he busts the Chaos Emerald open on Sonic and Tails' rocket ship? It's kind of out of place. There's an alternate one where instead they're on the rocket and he looks out and he sees the arc. Maybe I'll just splice that cutscene in, I'm not sure. Space Colony. Arc. This place, so familiar, but why? This is where I... Maria? Died? <laughs> oh yeah, bring it on! <laughs> Looks like the party's getting started! Time to rock and roll! You up for this, Shadow? And then this level happens, and it's fucking great. I fucking love this level. Where Shadow's like, hey, remember when we had that final boss fight against each other at the end of Sonic Adventure 2? That shit was awesome, right? It is about time. Like Sonic's recollection of that fight, where Shadow was trying to kill him, and and like it was a countdown to stop the Eclipse Cannon from firing and destroying the planet, was hey Shadow, remember how fun it was when we raced here together? 
<laughs> like, Sonic, you fucking dork. I don't think Shadow quite remembers the event the way you remember it, dude. <laughs> but yeah, like, the implication, like, there's a couple levels that take place on the outskirts of the arc like this. They're actually a very different level geometry, by the way. Uh, like, the implication is this is the... It's been a long time since the two of us ran along here together. Now, time to kick things up a notch. That's awesome! Like, it's, it's kind of implied to be the same... Like, a uh, final chase and final rush at the end of Sonic Adventure 2. Shadow and Sonic's final levels, respectively. What the fuck? And the final boss fight between them, where they were racing along that infinite highway forever, fighting each other all the while. And, and and you don't actually see Sonic as he's racing along through this level, which I can see why because the seems to hover above the ground, if they did, you see, would probably be able to fuck with the like AI. Sorry, but that emerald's mine. See ya. You would probably be able to fuck with Sonic's AI. God damn it. In order to, like, bug the race or something like that. Something that, you know, they just didn't want you to be able to do. Is this the Ark's power plant? Oh, son of a bitch. So instead, they just have it be a raw timer. And I guess so I guess Shadow is ta Sonic is taking a different route than, than Shadow is. Oh, god damn it. Oh, okay. I guess, like, Sonic's just taking a different route to get to the same goal. But it's still contextualized as a race between them, which I think is really fun and cute. God damn this fucking camera. This is the first, also, this is the first 3D game that actually, like, has the camera control be to the stick. It's purely to the stick. If you use the trigger buttons, hey, what's the matter, Shadow? Can't it doesn't on? rotate the camera. In Adventure One and Two and Heroes, hitting the trigger buttons would rotate the camera in the left or right, depending on which trigger you. Use. Whereas in this game, it's purely the stick, because in this game, the triggers actually have a command associated with them. Come on. Where if you hold down the right behold, stick, you can strafe. The right trigger, you can strafe. Now it's time to dash for the finish line. Come on. Oh no! Okay. Whew. I was like, you're gonna waste it! Yeah, look at Chaos Control just cheesing this entire section. That's so great. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck you, Sonic. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking amazing. Or if you hold down the right trigger, you kind of straight and you can do backflips and shit. It's awesome. And I'm not sure what the left stick does. I think it, like, it might pseudo lock on. I'm not sure. But anyway, the hero mission is beat Sonic to it. So if you want to do the neutral route, you have to wait at least three Sonic. minutes. Now I remember that day we fought here aboard the Ark. Apparently, amnesiac-ass robot Shadow has a better memory of what actually happened in Sonic. Sonic remembers it as a race. Shadow's like, oh yeah, we fought to the death here. I remember that. Those are my two favorite levels. This is by far the single worst level in the entire game. I'm going to show it to you because it's so goddamn terrible. And I hate it. So much. Like, by far, of all the levels in this game, this one is the worst. They're too strong! Hey, it's Shadow! Good timing. The black creatures have huge bombs that they're trying to set off here in the city. It's a timed mission. We have a few the minutes before the bombs detonate and destroy this level. You've got to help us. So, the hero mission here is bullshit, because what you have to do is grab one of these vacuum guns from the aliens and suck up the bombs with them. Hey, 
Do you think you could use those alien vacuum guns on those smaller bombs? So, so you there's twenty threat. There's twenty small bombs throughout the mission. Whoa. And you have like eight minutes to collect them all. Have fun with that. That's garbage. Fuck this mission. I hate this mission so much. Guess what? The dark version of this mission isn't any better because you have to find five giant bombs and kill a bunch of gun soldiers in order to detonate them. And it's actual total garbage. This li this mission sucks. And if they will detonate, the bombs will detonate. And if that bomb detonates, you can't get it anymore. And there is a finite number of bombs. All right, just a little more. Oh, oh I, I did want to show this. If you, what the fuck? Oh, he's using. If we just jump into them with our normal jump attack, it'll like shave their health off. We're getting there. Which is really fun. This like, we're actually shaving the off the their health. Stop because we're head- guy. because we're a hedgehog. And we're like, imagine a hedgehog grinding itself into you, right? Come here! Not as tough as they look, are they? So there's a finite number of bombs in this mission. And if they detonate, they are gone, and you can't collect those. This mission is terrible. I hate this goddamn mission. I hate this le- Stop! Six. Stop blowing up these bombs! Good going. You fuck. And there's no neutral mission, like, variant, either. Shadow, we have set a bomb that will annihilate the city. It's fu- we set a bomb. There are five. It's total garbage. I fucking hate this mission. I'm gonna show it to you just so you can see how much I hate it. Forgive me. Alien scum! Behold the ultimate power! Seven? You know, if these things weren't so dangerous, looking for them might almost be fun. What the fuck does that even mean, Knuckles? Also, why are you here? Eight. Why is Knuckles here? Who is protecting the Master Emerald right now? I guess like... Finally, an interesting match. I guess you could say like, there is literally... There is literally an alien invasion going on right now. That threatens the entire planet, including Angel Island, including the Master Emerald, so I guess... God fucking damn it! This is... This'll just take It's like, if we approach them too fast, will they detonate? It's fucking horse shit. And look, a line of rings that you can never get. God damn it. And the level design of this level is fucking garbage too. Because it's literally half radioactive sludge all over the city. Knuckles, I don't need you to count every individual map. Spruce are sprouting up everywhere. Twelve. Every How many of these things are there? individual bomb I fucking collect, dude. Where's the bomb squad? I don't know if the bomb squad is capable of handling alien bombs. The same. They might not properly be trained on how to defuse alien bombs. So if we wanted to do the evil version, what we would do is we would kill these gun robots and shoot that bomb until it detonates. And we would have to do that five times throughout the level. I'm doing very poorly, but that's only because I hate this level. I assure you. It's not because I'm bad at video games. I feel like it's funny how this... How this vacuum gun will put out fires, though. And that's a fun little system, like, hey, if you put out fires, it will increase your hero gauge. Isn't that kind of adorable? How they put the thought in there? Like, they really actually put the thought in. To this moral choice system they came up with. You can... If you do... Heroic deeds... It will increase your hero bar. 
There we go. And if you do bad things, like cause collateral damage and blow shit up, it'll increase your evil bar. And he increasing the... Come on. God damn it. Fuck it. I don't care. Increasing the hero bar gives you the option to do the chaos control. Ooh, close one. Sticking, hurry. Shut the fuck up. Sixteen. Shadow, try you. Only three more. This parachute lets you keep your hands free, and you have some control where you want to land. How are you supposed Multiple to get that one, honestly? Detected. This'll just take three seconds. Uh, oh. Look, look, just shave that health off by jumping into them. Great. <laughs> one up. It's either a one up or a free man. It's not a one man. Fucking retard. Anyway. Oops. Damn it. I might not even do be able to do this. I'm here. Okay, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll be able to have enough invincibility. For nope, they both blew up. Uh, God damn it. This is infuriating, and I have a minute left. Damn it, and we only got one more minute before all the bombs go off. Good going. I don't even. Okay, there's one. Everyone get out of my way. Okay, one, one left. More. We've got there it is! The Come on! Damn it. You son of a fucking bitch. Come on. Come on. That's yes! It. Whew. This level fucking sucks. By far the worst level in the entire game. Such a cowardly attempt to take the city. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What's hilarious is you get this mission after like definitively siding with the black arms Perfect. aliens and blowing up the white house in a independence day homage scene and now shadow's like oh i'm gonna i'm worst level in the entire game and i have an a rank on both routes that's fucking horse shit i'm not even proud of that i'm angry i'm angry that that is how it went anyway so those are the three like most substantial levels i think they're all like this is by far the worst one all the other ones are pretty good in compare oh wait no there was one more yeah this one i'll uh, show so this is the last one but anyway, i don't think any of these levels are bad that one sucked that one was goddamn terrible but aside from that like it's Doctor, not like this any way. of the levels in the game oh, yeah Shadow, I'm so glad you're this here. one's of Even substance because it's the one that has eight yeah, sure, whatever. Again, like, <laughs> Shadow's trying to be all aloof, like I'm a cool guy. Oh, fuck off, Sonic. I'm not even here to help you t save the world. Amy comes up and is like, hey, Cream, hey, Shadow, can you help me find Cream? Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, why not? I can't see a reason to say no to that. <laughs> That's just hilarious to me. And it's even more hilarious because look at the hey, marker up there. My like it says zero of two. There are two creams in this level? What? What the fuck? What does that mean, right? How can there be two creams? You'll see. That's hilarious to me. Look, killing Eggman's robots. Look at the red bar. See, blowing up Eggman's robots gives us evil points. Because the black arms aliens are so bad that even Eggman's robots are good guys in comparison. Everyone is kind of, like, Eggman's still a dick. 
but everyone's kind of uniting in solidarity against the Black Arms aliens, which is fucking hilarious. There's only a few missions where Eggman's robots count as the bad guys. One of them was the level with tails, uh, like at the amusement park made out of rings, which is so weird to me. It's so weird when you acknowledge the rings as an actual aspect of the setting. Like, how does that even make sense? Anyway, here's Green. Oh, crawling in my skin, I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, and I'm dealing with these weird existential woes about my backstory. I need to find out the truth. I'm gonna fight these and kill these aliens and send them to damn hell with my gun. Hey, Shadow, help me find this adorable bunny girl. Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks, Shadow. Uh, can you go find my pet dog, Doctor too? Doctor has got to know something. Yeah, fine. Whatever. <laughs> like, you see, that's what I'm talking about. We're like... Aw. Uh, we're like... They get it. Like, it's not... You're not supposed to take it seriously, you know? Like, the edge... They kind of... It's kind of a joke. They know what they're... They're in on the joke. You know? That's what it feels like to me. Like, they're sincerely trying to capitalize on that market. And they know what they're doing. You know? It's both. It's like the Resident Evil voice acting from the original game. It's the best they could do, and they didn't give a shit. They're trying to take it like they're trying to actually be sincerely edgy, and they're waking at the camera and being goofy about it by putting in fucking Billy Hatcher guns and having missions like this where Shadow is rescuing an adorable little girl and her pet Chow. With these fucking Fisher, like, everyone always points to, like, look, you're using a real gun. You're using, like, an M40 or whatever. Meanwhile, there's also these fuck- The alien guns look like fucking Fisher-Price guns and make pew-pew noises. And Eggman's robots use, like, toys! Like, look at the guns they're using, they look like fucking Nerf guns for crying out loud. How can you say they don't know what they're doing? How can you look at this game and go like, Oh look, they expect us to take it seriously. LOL, this is so bad. No, it's not! You're dumb! Shut up! Like, it's these internet cynical fucks who think they're so much more enlightened and so much more informed about like, Oh, I am so... Superior to this fiction, it's trying to do this thing, and it's failing, and I am the one who is enlightened in my critical analysis of this game's attempts at being dark and edgy. Oh, it expects you to take it seriously, but I will not take it seriously, good sir. Look at how fucking useless the hand-to-hand -hand is in this fucking game. Like, your range is so short. But no, like, in their, like, attempt to sound snobby, and like, oh, I know what I'm talking about, they reveal that actually, no, they don't know what they're talking about. It couldn't be more obvious from the way they're talking about this game that they don't get it, that they're full of shit. Oh my god, it's literally a room full of Chow! Where's the Chow Garden in Sonic Forces? Ah! Look at them all. Oh no, which one is cheese? Which one is cream and cheese? It's none of them. The real cheese is over- oh, sorry. Oh no! And look, they're looking at Shadow and going, yeah, bro, what up? You look at the- how? How can you go, oh, this game is so dumb, it's dark and edgy and dumb? You're wrong. You're just flat out a stupid person. You're just flat out not an intelligent human being. And I- and you are worthy of no respect in my eyes. You made me do it! 
You made me do it! Anyway. I think it was cheese! How can you fucking tell? So yeah, the real cheese is over here, hidden in this room. Come on. Cheese got himself a private little club here, and you can actually tell it's Cheese, because he's got the bow tie. If you want to stay clear of trouble, then stay away from that doctor. So yeah, those are the levels that, off the top of my head, occur to me as the most prominent ones to talk about that we're not going to see on the last route we're going to do. Because, like I said, one of these routes endings has to lead into the last story, right? Which one is the right one? Which one is the one? Well, that's the one we're going to do. The last route is as close as anyone can figure is the cannon route that leads into the last story. And it's also going to give me an opportunity to actually talk about the narrative in that way overly analytical way that I do. So join us then. Ha 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 ha.